is built on violence, and it's particularly built on the violence of genocide of indigenous peoples and enslavement of African peoples that was enforced, both of those things, by police and policing, as uh, was the exclusion of migrants um, and the policing of migrants. And so th those things are very much embedded in the very structures of American society and also um, in the culture of American society that is embedded policing in our minds, as uh, Professor Pl Patrick Blanchard points out, as the solution as opposed to a problem, even in the face of instances like the one that we're currently sitting with of the brutal murder of Tyree Nichols, um, on top of, as Professor Hansford was saying, the deadliest year in 2022 in terms of police violence in a decade, in spite of all the reform that has been advanced um, or proposed in the wake of the murder of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. And so I think, uh, and Mike Brown and Trayvon and so on. And I think we really um, need to recognize that that we have to unlearn this notion that violence is the solution to violence, that policing is our only path to safety, and really recognize in, and look to what communities actually know to be true, which is that it is our relationships, it is our resources, and it is our commitment to each other's safety and well-being that is actually the pathway to safety. And we have to really unlearn uh, that in the face of a wave of a propaganda. Every time there's an instance of police violence like this, the police have to react to the challenge to their legitimacy by reaching for their most reliable weapon, which is fear and fear mongering and, and really trying to reinforce in people's minds that the only solution to safety is police, when in fact police are a threat to our safety as evidenced by this incident and thousands more. You